Hello and welcome to Political Empire. I'm your host, Jeff Horseman with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. And today we're going to be talking about the results of an ethics investigation into a Riverside City Councilman. And then we're going to be getting into some bad press that the city of San Bernardino has had recently, as if it hasn't had enough problems, unfortunately. Uh, first, the Riverside City Council, minus Councilman Chris MacArthur, voted Tuesday to uphold a city panel's December finding that MacArthur did not violate ethics rules. Now, the issue arose in October when former Former mayoral candidate Devon Petrozello filed a complaint saying that MacArthur failed to respond to three incidents of alleged misconduct by MacArthur's legislative aide, and because the aides report to the council members and sometimes act on their behalf, uh, Petrozello argued that uh, MacArthur was responsible for his aide's behavior. Um, now we're going to be talking about San Bernardino, and obviously its finances are in bad shape. The city's in bankruptcy, and it's also taking a beating in the national and international press. And here to talk about that is reporter Imran Gori. Um, Imran, who's been writing about San Bernardino, and uh, what are they saying? Well, San Bernardino's decision to file for bankruptcy has obviously gotten a lot of national attention. One of three cities in California to file for bankruptcy. Um, there has been a uh, it's been used as kind of an example of some of the problems that they're seeing in the in the state and in the country. Um, Der Spiegel, which is a German magazine, I guess it's their version of Time magazine, recently did an article uh, looking at some of its problems. The New York Times wrote a piece about the escalating homicide rate over the last year and the budget cuts the city has got has to undertaken as a result of bankruptcy. Uh, most recently, uh, the Wall Street Journal did a uh, list of uh, worst managed cities, and San Bernardino was at the top of that list. Ouch. All right. Well, I understand the number of city officials are leaving. Can you talk about that? Right. Ever, ever since the uh, bankruptcy filing uh, in July, there has been a, an exodus of city employees, many uh, folks retiring, um, uh, moving on to different uh, agencies. Uh, the most prominent now is uh, the city's interim city manager, uh, Andrea Travis Miller, she has accepted a job with the San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments where she'll be their director. All right. Now, in terms of who's going to be policing uh, San Bernardino, um, who's going to be doing it? They're going to stick with their own police force. Uh, there was talk about, they had requested a uh, proposal from the Sheriff's Department to look at uh, would there be any savings if they were to contract with the Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department does that for a number of cities. Uh, they found that the savings would they are not there, it wouldn't be enough to um, switch. And they, uh, but in any case, they said the, it was important to take a look at it to show that the city is uh, looking at all options during bankruptcy. All right, well, thank you very much, Imran. Appreciate it. And thank you once again for watching Political Empire. See you next time.